Hey guys, and welcome to another update. Oh yes. So today's a little bit of a different update. Um, as some of you know, I've worked as a game designer for a while, and uh, this is one of the many, many projects I was doing. Um, it was a design document for a mobile game. It fortunately didn't come to fruition, but that's, that is what happens. Um, but it means I can show you some of the art assets I was doing for it, uh, as well as the design work. Um, so, first image in front of you is a little bit of the UI, uh, UI design, um, and kind of giving a basic idea of how uh, the layout would be. Again, nothing final. Um, I just thought it'd be kind of a novel thing for you guys to see uh, if you're interested in that sort of stuff, because you know this channel is about uh, art and games and game design and everything like that. Um, so UI is incredibly important. Uh, it's very important to start mapping out how you think the UI is going to function and the functionality between uh, your your game and the UI elements on the screen. Um, a lot of people will design and do art assets and rush ahead and then try and do the UI as a secondary thing. Um, but honestly, trying to pinpoint how you're going to convey everything that needs to be conveyed to the player, but in a concise to the point manner uh, is incredibly, incredibly important. Um, but a lot of people don't really pay that much attention. So that's the first thing you think of when you go to a game is uh, is the UI, but it's 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 incredibly, incredibly important. Um, so from this, uh, you can see that I did some uh, basic layouts uh, and moving into uh, which probably more interest for a lot of you out there the um, rage balls, as we were calling them at the time. Um, it was going to be like a combat arena game. Um, so it's one of the first illustrations, uh, concept arts I did for uh, the design document. Um, pretty much I wrote the design document and then uh, did a bunch of uh, placeholder art uh, to give uh, the, the team, if we actually chose to go ahead with it, um, an idea of the aesthetic and what we were kind of going for. Um, and also it was just a good excuse to change up what I've been doing for the last while. Um, so here um, you can see the the Rage Ball, uh, which were these balls that would be piloted. Um, kind of like a, a mix between Monkey Ball and um, an arena shooter. Um, or like a what's that game on Steam, Rocket, Rocket Racing. Kind of similar to that. Um, and I kind of like how this one came out. Uh, you know, it's it's a simple, 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 simple art aesthetic, uh, but one I think that would look pretty, pretty nice um, overall. Uh, this guy's the chicken dude, um, <laughs> just trying to convey a bit of speed, bit of uh, probably the aesthetic um, for the game um, and the customizable uh, rage balls and character aesthetics that would be available to the player to use. Um, again, there's not much here to show you from the build-up standards. Uh, I pretty much did the uh, sketch, then I did the inking, uh, and then I did the, uh, the color work on top. Um, and then kind of messing around with the lighting, which, um, you know, doing a little bit of highlighting uh, on it, I think it came out well enough. Um, there's a few elements with it that are not great, um, but again, this was my excuse to, after a month and two, a month and four days of uh, trying to learn how to draw while also working. Um, yeah, I don't think they're bad placeholder art for the uh, the professional artists that we'd get to do the <laughs> actual art assets work. Um, Moving on to the next one, uh, this is a lineup of all three, so um, you can kind of see how it would be laid out. Uh, the idea of the spheres at the bottom were the the icons, they'd have shield icons, armor icons, and you'd break through these uh, and they'd act as essentially the health bar for the the, uh, the ball itself. Um, the middle one up there being my personal favorite, uh, the one that came out, um, 
but you can see a kind of a, an idea of how the a possible idea of how the shield icons would be um, displayed over the the rage ball kind of very mario kart um bubble uh match kind of uh mechanics um i don't know if any of you've ever played uh, mario kart on double dash or anything like that on the ds um there was a mode for the bubble arena where you would race around and you'd all have three bubbles and if you lost all your bubbles you'd uh you'd be out it's essentially the same kind of premise um and it is just a lineup of all three uh rage balls um the one in the middle uh again being my personal favorite i think it came out well um i actually should have a an image of that that's a little bit closer up and i do here we go um, I think this one came out well. I think the uh, the actual cross hatching on the the funnel at the back. And yes, I know it's a sphere. I know it's meant to rotate uh, and roll around, and it doesn't make much sense that there's a chimney coming out the side of it. But hey, you know it's the rule of cool, and uh, things don't always have to make sense. <laughs> um, but yeah, I was happy how these came out. I was it's disappointing that the um, the project didn't go ahead, but um, you know. Uh, I, I enjoyed doing the design work for it, I just enjoyed doing the design um, documents and the, uh, the, the initial art uh, for it, and uh, I, think, I think it could have been a really cool, quirky game, but unfortunately, um, cost, time, and uh, a bunch of other reasons usually are the thing that uh, dictates what you can do. Um, People say that the games industry is a passion industry, which it is, um, but passion alone does not keep the lights on, and um, that's something people very quickly realize when they go into the games industry, they very quickly realize uh, you are a company and you need to make money, you need to make the thing that people want to play, not necessarily the thing that you want to play. Um, but anyway, not getting into that, let's stick with the art. Um, finally, after this one, I, I did two... Uh, buildings, they're more or less the same, um, for the hub world. Uh, the idea is that you would roll, you'd have this combined hub world where players would meet up, and then the, uh, you'd have like these, uh, almost like giant slides, um, that you'd roll into, uh, to begin a match. Um, this one has a very Bob's Burgers, uh, aesthetic look to it. Um, actually quite happy with how the sign came out. Um, and then the second one of these is... Uh, very very it's pretty much the same thing except it's got a uh, large blow up um, uh, <laughs> there's you could say a lot about that but it's um, it is a uh, it's meant to be one of those blow up um, kind of uh, uh, signs um, that you'd see at like uh, you know fairs and uh, amusement parks and things. It's not what it's meant to, what most people are probably thinking it looks like at this point, and not to insinuate anything. Um, yeah, actually looking at that now, I probably... <laughs> anyway, um, and that's pretty much uh, what I got up to uh, for today and um, just got stuck into doing a lot of design work recently. And uh, yeah, today was, today was nice. It was nice to focus on these little bits of art assets to put into it and get them finished up. I've been working on this sort of stuff for a while and uh, I thought it would be a nice update to show you guys um, because I didn't I had to finish up some of these today because um, uh, I thought it would be a good idea to put them into uh, a video get something out of them uh, rather than just shelving them like uh, many many other um, elements um, yeah, I hope you I hope you enjoyed uh, this little delve into the other aspect of my life, um, from the design work aspect of it. Um, and yeah, uh, I will catch you guys in the next update. Very much hope you enjoyed. Uh, please like and subscribe and share if you are so inclined. Uh, and have a great day and a better tomorrow. And I'll catch you guys in the next update. Cheers.